At the Republican Governors Association meeting today, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker and Texas Governor Rick Perry suggested the possibility of suing President Obama over his immigration executive order. I wouldn't push a shutdown. I think you go to court. and I, I, You I would agree. go to the courts. You wouldn't I, I, do this legislation. I go to the courts because I think there's a pretty compelling argument. Greg uh, Abbott, who is the new uh, incoming um, governor of Texas, who, by the way, is going to be an ex just a fabulous governor, his job description over the last uh, six years when he was asked, what do you do? He said, I go to the office, I sue Obama, and I go home. <laughs> So you believe you believe the state of Texas will have standing in, uh, to challenge the inf challenge the implementation of this executive order. I do. Joining me now, MSNBC political correspondent Casey Hunt, who was at today's Republican governors meeting. Casey, I want to show Republican Governor John Kasich's reaction, which is completely different to everything we've heard from Republicans today. Let's listen to this. The issue of citizenship, I've heard lots of voices on it, right. and I am not close to it. You know why? Because everybody in this country has to feel as though they have an opportunity. Everybody, I mean, and I know what they did. I know they, they jumped the line. I don't like it. There's a lot of people who have gone through legally who have uh, not jumped the, line, jumped the line, who are bitter about this, but at the end of the day, it may be necessary. I, I'm, I'm open to it. I will tell you that. I'm open to it. Yeah. Casey Hunt, uh, can a Republican governor at that meeting get away with saying, I'm open to it? <laughs> at this meeting, Lawrence, sure. Now, if he wants to run for president <laughs> right. in 2016, I'm not sure it would survive the gauntlet of the Republican primary. I mean, Kasich's answer really was striking because it was so different from every other Republican governor who was up on that stage. And, you know, I interviewed three of them today, Mike Pence from Indiana, Bobby Jindal from Louisiana, and Scott Walker from Wisconsin. And I pressed all of them after they discussed their opposition to this executive order on what they would do with the millions of people who are here illegally. There's something that has to be done, and they all do acknowledge that this is a problem, but they can't come up with a policy prescription. All they say is, we need to secure the border. And I think, you know, as we look ahead to 2016, that's really going to be the tough spot that some of these potential candidates are in. Chris Christie was also asked today whether or not he would overturn this executive order if he were to get elected president. He refused to answer because he said, it was a hypothetical, but I think the first person that you might ask about this subject on the Republican side is actually Mitt Romney, and he learned the hard way about what the primary process can do on this issue to set you up badly for the general election. Casey, did anyone explain uh, to Chris Christie today that every question asked of a presidential candidate is a hypothetical? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that would get you very far with Governor Christie, but I will say he was pressed on multiple occasions. I asked him one question. Dan Balls of The Washington Post asked him several. He wouldn't say whether or not he was supportive of a path to legalization. Again, he says that that's something that would only come if he were to declare his candidacy. That said, he's still the sitting governor of New Jersey. Casey Hunt, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thanks, Lawrence. Good to see you. Come